is that boy? Oh, he's across the street, Bertie, with Mr. Bullard's little niece, Brenda. Is he still over there? <laughs> Wait till Mr. Gillsleeve gets home. He's going to have something to say about that. He sure is. Tonight, in the fifth of a new fall and winter series of Wednesday evening broadcasts, the Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company, makers of parquet margarine and all those other wonderful Kraft quality foods. The big reason millions prefer parquet margarine to any other spread is that it tastes so good. And it tastes so good because it's always so fresh. But there are other reasons as well. For instance, if you live in a state where colored margarine is sold, there's the convenience and extra protection of Yellow Parquet's new Flavor Saver Package. Yes, each golden quarter pound is individually wrapped in a new Flavor Saver aluminum foil. So easy to handle, already colored, ready to serve. And all the freshness and flavor are sealed in, staleness and odors sealed out. Elsewhere, you get that same superb parquet flavor and freshness in the handy Color Quick bag or regular parquet package. So find out for yourself why so many prefer this superb margarine to any other. Ask your grocer for P-A-R-K-A-Y. Parquet margarine made by Kraft. Get some tomorrow. Well, the great Gildersleeve has just been appointed chairman of the Summerfield Community Chess Drive. The first thing he did about the drive was to drive home and tell his little family about it. Oh, Unky, I'm so proud of you. Well, Marjorie, I'm a little proud of myself. They sure picked a good man when they picked you, Miss Gilsley. Yeah, thank you, Bertie. Oh, uh, why did they pick you, Unky? Uh, what? Well, why did they select you to head the community chest? Well, because I've got the biggest chest in the community. <laughs> oh, Unky. Uh, what have you planned for the campaign? Uh, the first thing I'm in charge of is the kids' football game Saturday afternoon. We've got the two best junior teams in the city. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, we expect to make a lot of money for the community chest. Is little Leroy going to play? Leroy? With those feet? <laughs> oh, poor Unky. For years, he's hoped Leroy would be a football player. Yes, but that's hoping too much. Leroy will never be an athlete. He can't run ten yards without tripping over his own shoestrings. Now, Unky, Leroy tries. Hey, by the way, where is the boy? <laughs> He's across the street with Mr. Bullard's pretty little niece. Hey, Brenda? Uh-huh. You can see him here from the window sitting on Mr. Bullard's steps. Aren't they cute? Cute? What a way for a boy to spend his time. Look at him hang his head and giggle. <laughs> that little Brenda sure has a way with Leroy. He should be out practicing football. When she flutters them big peoples at him, all he does is giggle. Yeah, I know, Bertie. Yes. They was over here this afternoon eating donuts. And she was flooding them peepers at him through the holes. She was. <laughs> all Leroy did was giggle. Now they're sitting over there, and all he's doing is giggling. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Bertie. <laughs> Miss Gilsey, you know all Leroy does when he gets with that little girl? Yes, Bertie. That's right. All he does is giggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go get Laughing Boy and bring him home to dinner. <laughs> I think you're just marvelous. <laughs> if anybody told me I'd be sitting by anybody as important as you are, oh, well, I just never would have believed it. <laughs> Roy. Yeah? You're my hero. <laughs> Leroy! Well, they don't even hear me. Leroy! What? Oh, Uncle, I didn't hear you. Yeah, I know. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hello, Brenda. I didn't see you standing there. Well, I wasn't eavesdropping. <laughs> I just came over to tell Leroy it's time for dinner. Mr. Gildersleeve, isn't Leroy dreamy? Leroy? Dreamy? <laughs> He's my hero. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like him. But isn't the hero part going a little too far? What's so far about that? Well... I mean every word of it, Mr. Gildersleeve. 
I've been in a swoon since he told me he's playing in the game tomorrow. Well, fine. Now, come along, Leroy. Leroy's playing in the game tomorrow? Isn't that dreamy? Yes, dreamy. I mean, well, little Leroy. Keen, huh? You didn't tell me, my boy. Well, gosh, the coach just told me this afternoon. I'm playing quarterback. Quarterback? Yeah, the brains. Well, Leroy, I'm proud of you. Yeah. You're just the boy to run the team. You're a natural-born quarterback. Yeah. Leroy. Yeah, Unc? You weren't the only one out for quarterback, were you? <laughs> Heck no. I beat out Clyde Cooper. I had the brains. And LeBron, too. <laughs> well, let's be sure about the LeBron. Bernie, throw on another stake. We've got a football player in the family. <laughs> Would you like some more potatoes and gravy, Leroy? Sure. Here's the raisin bread again, my boy. Eat a lot of it. <laughs> Raisins have iron. That's what a football player needs. There's one more piece of steak. Who wants it? You make room on your plate, Leroy. Uh, Bertie, get him another glass of milk, please. Gosh, stop fussing over me. I can't see over my plate now. But you surprised us so, didn't he, Unky? Well, I knew Leroy had it in him all the time. Yes, sir. We just didn't know where it was hid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a day it's going to be. I can see the stands now, crowded, and a dollar ahead for the community chest. And little Leroy runs out on the field. Yeah. And Brenda waving to him from the sidelines. <laughs> now, listen, Leroy. If you win the toss, be sure to receive the kickoff. Possession of the ball is very important. The other team will never get their hands on it. I'll razzle-dazzle them to death. Yeah, the boy. I can't wait to tell Peavy and the Jolly Boys. Hey, by the way, Leroy, what formation are you using? The T or the single wing back? I'm just using Leroy back. What? And everybody else goes out for a pass. Wait, I'll show you with a hard roll. And not at the table, Leroy. Unc, you and Bertie run out for a pass. Leroy, don't you throw that hard roll at me. Oh, you're just a decoy. Get ready, Unc. Yeah, all right, my boy. I'm open. Here it comes, a spot pass. Uh. Oop, right in the gravy. <laughs> Bots all over me. Leroy, now look what you've done. Leroy, how many times has Uncle Moore told you not to play at the table? Well, I guess I better go up to my room, Unc. Huh? Oh, of course not, my boy. It was all my fault. It was? Yeah, I should have scooped it up before it hit the gravy. <laughs> oh, you're a fine passer and a wonderful boy. Holy cow. When you're an athlete, you can get by with this. Gildersleeve? <laughs> what can I do for you this morning? Uh, Peavy, you can give me a dollar. How's that? Uh, for the community chess football game tomorrow. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> After you give me the dollar, I'll give you a red feather. Just like the one I have in my hat. Oh, that explains your feather. I thought you'd been where the wild goose went. <laughs> uh, what's this, Peavy? You know the song. My heart goes where the wild goose goes. Yes, and I must Peavy. go where the wild goose goes. Yeah, all right, Peavy. Wild goose, brother goose, which is best, a wandering fool or a heart at rest? Oh, Peavy, stop. I will. I'm out of breath. Uh, Peavy, you're too chipper this morning. What happened? Oh, nothing's happened. Mrs. Peavy left this morning to spend a week with her mother, but nothing's happened. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I'm happy today, too, Peavy. Now, I'll tell you why you shouldn't miss the game. Well, here's another customer. Mm, that's no customer. That's Judge Hooker. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello, Judge. You're just the man I want to see. Oh? Why the feather in your hat, Gilda? Has the water commissioner been dressing poultry? <laughs> <laughs> Judge, you know very well why it's there. Yes, I do. Congratulations on being chairman of the drive, Gilda. Uh, thanks. Now, all I want from you is a dollar. You're for... heading a very worthy cause. As the slogan goes, everybody benefits, everybody gives. Yeah, well, that's true, but Judge, just give Red me... Red Feather Services provide the health, welfare, and recreational facilities the community needs to make it a better place in which to live. You're doing a lot of talking to get out of paying a dollar. <laughs> 
What's that, Peter? Hey, Judge, I'm selling tickets to the community chess football game tomorrow. One dollar. Well, I've made my pledge, but I'll take a ticket. Oh, thank you, Phoebe. Well, I made my pledge also, but I'll take two tickets. I can take Miss Matterhorn in my new car. Great. Yeah, this is a game I don't want anybody to miss, because here's the big news, fellows. Big news? Yeah, the most important thing that ever happened. Little Leroy is going to play in that game. He is? Well, good for him. Just imagine, Leroy on the gridiron. Yep. Yeah. He's playing quarterback. Well, we'll all have to go out and cheer for Leroy. Say, I have an idea. Instead of just cheering, let's take our Jolly Boys band out to support Leroy's team. You call that support? <laughs> it's a good idea, Horace. As chairman of the drive and president of the Jolly Boys, with the boys starring on the team, I call a special meeting for this evening for band practice. I'll be there. Anything for Leroy. He's quite a boy. Phoebe, I thought you had trouble getting out on week nine. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. I'm as free as the wild goose. My heart goes... Right All right. Goes. <laughs> All right, Phoebe. See you tonight. Leroy, Marjorie, Bertie, I'm home. Oh, hello, Uncle Mort. Hello, Marjorie, my dear. Where's Leroy? Oh, I think he's upstairs. Oh, I'll give this to Bertie. That big package for Bertie? No, Bertie is for Leroy. Oh, a football, Unky? Nope. More steak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I think I'll go up and have a little skull practice with the quarterback, Mike. Oh, you just can't wait for tomorrow, can you, Unky? Yeah, I can't wait for the next few years, either. Someday, Marjorie, we'll be going to college football games to watch Leroy Snake Hips Forrester. <laughs> You're awfully proud of Leroy, aren't you? You bet. I'm proud of you, too, my dear. But, of course, you're not a football player. <laughs> See you later, Marjorie. Don't hear anything up here. Yeah, I guess the little fellow's figuring out plays. Leroy? Yeah? May I come in, my boy? I'm a scout for the Green Bay Packers. You can come in if you want to. Ah, what are you doing? Brewing up bad medicine for the opposition? No, just sitting. Resting, huh? Good. Hey, by the way, I brought home some more steak for your dinner. You and Bronco can eat it, Unc. What? I'm not hungry. Ah, guess you're excited about the game. Better eat, though. You've got to be strong to make those touchdowns. I'm not going to make any touchdowns. You're not? But Leroy. I'm not going to play. <laughs> Teasing your old uncle, huh, Leroy? No, I'm not going to play. Clyde Cooper's going to be quarterback. Clyde? Leroy, yesterday you had the job. Well... What happened? Well, gosh, I, I got a little cold, I think. Leroy, you don't have a cold. You've never been healthier. Well, I sprained my ankle. Your ankle? Which one? Both of them. Oh, <laughs> Leroy, you're making up excuses. You have to play tomorrow. I bragged all the Jolly Boys. I mean, I told all the Jolly Boys you were going to star. And I'm chairman of the community chest in charge of the game. What are people going to say? Sorry, Unc. But I told you why I can't play. Those weren't very good excuses. They weren't, huh? No. Now tell me why you aren't going to play. Well, I got to look at the other team, Unc. Gosh, they're pretty big guys. Oh. So that's it. Leroy. Yeah? Those boys are the same age as you. What about Clyde? He isn't as big as you, is he? No, but... All right, my boy. Get ready for dinner. I'm not hungry. Miss Gale, please. Dinner's ready. I'm not hungry either. <laughs> Great Gildersleeve returns in just a moment. It's fresh. Fresh. Really fresh. Fresh. Always fresh. Fresh. That's why it tastes so good. It's parquet margarine made by Kraft. Every woman knows how important it is to keep food fresh, really fresh. 
For if even the finest food loses freshness, it loses savor. And that's why so many millions of women always buy parquet margarine. They know it's the margarine that's fresh, really fresh, always fresh. Yes, Kraft Freshness Control protects parquet margarine right to your home. Parquet is made fresh from top-grade products of American farms, rushed fresh to the store in refrigerated trucks, sold fresh by your grocer. Every pound of parquet margarine is flavor-dated, and grocer's stocks are inspected regularly by Kraft men. That's why Kraft can absolutely guarantee to you that no matter where you buy or when you buy parquet margarine, it will be fresh. Fresh. Really fresh. Fresh. Always fresh. Fresh. That's P-A-R-K-A-Y. Parquet margarine made by Kraft. Get some tomorrow. The great Gildersleeve heard that his nephew Leroy was going to play quarterback in the community chess football game. He was the happiest man in Somerville. But then when Leroy suddenly changed his mind and decided not to play, the great man's spirits crumbled. Now it's evening and the water commissioner is heading for the meeting at the Jolly Boys Club. Salute Leroy tomorrow when he runs on the field. How'll I explain it to him? I can't tell him Leroy backed out. Well, I can just tell him he decided not to be an athlete. He's going to be a scholar. No, they'll never believe that. Hi, Commish. Come on in. Hello, Floyd. Hi, fellows. Come on, Gildy. We're all warmed up. Here's your trombone. Just a minute, fellows. Before we waste our time... Hey, since the chief ain't here, why don't I just concentrate on the drums tonight? But, Floyd, what about the piano? Since I ain't dragging no piano out to the field tomorrow. Fellows, perhaps we shouldn't take any of the instruments. Well, I'm taking my flute. What's the matter, Commish? Don't you think you're professional enough? I carry a union card. (laughs) Barber's union. (laughs) Gildy, why shouldn't we take our instruments? Well, you don't have to do this for Leroy. We want to do it, Commish. Well, we're happy to do it. We're proud of the kid. And you must be too, Commish. Yes. Gentlemen, shall we show our old friend what we've got for little Leroy? What's this, Judge? Well, we were going to save it and present it official after the game, you know. But what the heck? Haul it out, Peeve. Yeah, look at this, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, a loving cup with a football player. Gold filled, that's what makes it yellow. I know, (laughs) Pete. Fellas, you shouldn't have done it. Believe me. Read the engraving, Gildy. Well, let me see. Ah, the commission's choking up. Let me read it. To Leroy Forrester for quarterback in the community chess football game. Nice, Floyd. We just said something about you being chess chairman, but the engraving was getting pretty expensive. (laughs) (laughs) Well, gentlemen, let's practice our number for Leroy. Uh, What can I say to them? Come on, Commish. We picked on Wisconsin because that's the dairy state and Leroy's the big cheese. (laughs) I'm ready with my flute. My violin's rising up. You want to test the trombone, Commish? Uh, I can't even get a lip. You never played better. Here we go, gang. Just pretend Leroy's taking the field. One, two. Wait a minute, fellas. Gee, what happened? It sounded like Leroy ran through all the instruments. <laughs> I suggest that the drum and trombone take the opening passage, then Peavy and I will come in with violin and flute. Hey, fellows, let's call the whole thing off. Oh, we'll get better. Pick up where we left off. Where'd we leave off? Here we go. <laughs> One, two. Gentlemen, we're improving. 
thing. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. You mean the Jolly Boys bought Leroy a trophy? Yep. An engraved loving cup. Gold filled. After that, how could I tell him Leroy had backed out? Oh, poor Unky. No wonder you couldn't sleep last night. Well, I'm through talking to the boy. If he wants to let that skinny little Clyde Cooper take his place at quarterback, that's up to him. Bronco and I tried to talk to him, but he just shrugged and walked away. Oh? Where'd he go? I know where he went. What's this, Bernie? That poor little boy went up in his treehouse. He did. That poor little boy. Over. Oh, what's he doing up in his treehouse? He's just sitting. <laughs> he won't talk to nobody. That poor little boy. Now, Bertie, don't feel sorry for Leroy. I'm not. He brought this on himself. I don't care whether he plays or not. He ain't even paying no attention to little Brenda. Brenda? Where's she? She just stand across the street flooding them eyes, but he just sitting up in his treehouse. That poor little boy. Well, I guess Brenda will be as disappointed in Leroy as the rest of us. Say, there's an idea. If there's anybody who can make a man play ball, it's a woman. Why didn't I think of this before? up in his treehouse, Brenda. You have to get him to play in that game this afternoon. Oh, I'll just die if he doesn't play. After all, what's there to live for? <laughs> Leroy! I guess you better call him. Leroy! Leroy! It's me, Brenda! What do you want? I want you to come down and talk to me. I don't want to. Oop. Pour it on, Brenda. Leroy, if you play today, I'll come and cheer for you because you're my hero. <laughs> that should get him. Hero, Schmiro, go away. Hero. <laughs> well, if that's the way you feel about it, Mr. Leroy Forrester, I most certainly will go away. Hey, Brenda, Leroy. Oh, it's a lost cause. stadium is almost full. Hey, gang, here's the commission now. Well, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hello, fellas. You're late. Not as late as I'd like to be. Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Huge crowd. You should be very happy. Yeah, very happy. Hey, Commissioner, I checked the starting line up and Leroy's name ain't there. It isn't. Well, Floyd. Well, if Leroy doesn't appear, I refuse to play. Yeah, me too. It's hard to hear a violin in the stadium anyway. <laughs> Hey, here comes the starting team. Leroy ain't with him. Gilly, what happened? Well, excuse me, fellas. I think somebody's waving for my attention down below. I'm chairman, you know. I don't see anybody waving. See you later, fellas. Well, get Leroy in the game. We blew two bucks apiece on that cup. Sorry, Floyd. Well, I had to get away from the Jolly Boys. Somehow I can't believe little Leroy's afraid to play. Never been afraid of anything before. He's always wanted to play football. Uh, I think I'll sit down here and hide. Pardon me. Is this seat taken? Well, no, no, sit down. You're just in time for the kickoff. Yeah, I know. Uh, you... <laughs> Say, aren't you Mr. Gildersleeve, chairman of the community chess drive? Yeah, that's me. Oh, great outfit, the community chess. Yeah? You want somebody to tell people what the chess does? Ask me, I'll tell them. Well, good. See that boy running out on the field? Number 22? That's my son. Oh? Two years ago, he couldn't walk. Look at him now. Community chess did that. He looks fine. Playing in this game is the biggest moment in my boy's life. This is his chance to show everybody that he's well again, that he's come back. Yeah, that's wonderful. I wish I had a boy like that. Brave little fellow. He almost didn't get to play today. Well, that would have been terrible. The coach told me about it. Another boy was ahead of him, and it looked like Clyde wasn't going to get in the game. Clyde? 
And the other boy found out how important it was to Clyde to play today, so he stepped out to give Clyde the chance. The boy's name was Leroy Forrester. Oh, he did a great thing. Leroy? Oh, you know him? Yeah. Yeah, I know him. Little Leroy. Hey, there's the kickoff. Clyde's taking the ball, Gildersleeve. He is? Come on, Clyde. Run, boy, run! The Great Gildersleeve will be right back. When you buy margarine, get the margarine that tastes so good because it's fresh, really fresh, always fresh. Get parquet margarine made by Kraft. In states where the law permits, get yellow parquet in its new aluminum foil flavor saver wrap. Elsewhere, get parquet in the handy color quick bag or regular package. In any state, in any package, it's the margarine that tastes so good because it's always fresh. Get P-A-R-K-A-Y, parquet margarine made by Kraft. Leroy! Leroy! Uh, 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 pardon me. Excuse me, madam. Coming through. Lady, watch that umbrella. Leroy! Leroy, I'm over here. Hi, Uncle. Oh, it was a fine game, my boy. We took in $2,300 for the community test. It was a big success. Yeah. And I, I want to say, too, I'm proud of you. Mighty proud of you, my boy. Me? I wasn't even in the game. Clyde, here's Leroy. Oh, Gildy, we've been talking to Clyde Cooper's father. Yeah, if you ask me, Leroy deserves more than our loving cup. You ought to have a medal. I agree, Floyd. The hero of a football game should always be carried from the stadium on somebody's shoulders. I'm going to carry Leroy on mine. The heck you are. I'm carrying Leroy on my shoulders. Now, just a minute, fellas. Just a minute. Well, This is up to Leroy. Whose shoulders do you want to ride on, my boy? Yours, Unc. <laughs> Bless that boy. One side, fellas. We're coming through. Sleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White, with music by Robert Armbruster. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Arthur Q. Bryan, Barbara Whiting, Earl Ross, and Richard Legrand. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. Here's a quick, pleasant way to make leftovers more delicious. Just add a little craft prepared mustard and you'll add a lot of tang. Hidden flavors in boiled ham, sausage, most any meat pop right out. Every bite tastes better. Now you can get two kinds of craft mustard. Salad mustard, delicately spiced for those who prefer a milder flavor, and craft mustard with snappy horseradish added. Have both kinds in your pantry. Then with every meat dish, hot or cold, just add a little mustard and you'll add a lot of tang. Kraft prepared mustard. For a half hour of spine-tingling excitement, listen next Sunday afternoon to The Falcon over this station. Check your newspaper for time of broadcast and tune in when The Falcon solves the case of the unnecessary knife. Next, Groucho Marx 